Hey, thanks for coming. I've done a number of videos on diabetes and how to cure it. And, but I've been thinking about how to... Somebody who was watching these videos could tell if what I'm doing will work for them. And so one of the things that... Uh, Besides the supplements and the alkaline water, the baking soda and stuff like that, the biggest thing that worked for me was autophagy or intermittent fasting that induces autophagy. And it's real interesting to me that the... Uh, There is quite a discrepancy in the medical literature, and they never talk about in the medical literature how intermittent fasting helps people. But if you read and look at people that, that are say they've been cured, they're always talking about something that helps deal with toxins in the body anti-inflammation, things like that. So I wanted to, and I made a video about uh, erectile dysfunction, or ED. So I thought, well, what more could I do to help people determine if uh, they're going to be cured? What test could you do that would say to them, oh, uh, if I just continue with this, I'll get better. So this is a, this simple video is about how to use the, the blood glucose or blood sugar test to determine if you can be cured. So I had somebody that write it right into me that said that they were taking insulin. And I said, oh, okay, so this is this is how I, this all started. And he said that he's been on insulin for a number of years. And I said to him, well, why don't you check and see if you can lower your blood sugar by, do, by doing autophagy. And how you can test for it is uh, you can measure your, your blood sugar or your blood sugar when you're about to do your you do your breakfast, okay, fasting, read. And what I, uh, so this is it, okay? When you wake up in the morning, after you've slept usually, it's like six, eight hours, take your blood sugar. Get the initial fasting reading. Wait a couple of hours. Do it again, okay? And you keep doing this every two hours until the time between the last time you ate is between 16 and 18 hours, okay? So I did that this morning just to show. So I, I keep my, a record of my blood sugar. I don't know if you can read it very well, so I'm not going to display it. But this morning, I got up at 6.20, and my blood sugar was 121. Okay, so the yesterday in the afternoon, I finished eating, and I ate a little more than half a pizza, a good carb load. And so 126 is just on the borderline. 
But I waited. Okay, so then at uh, 7.50, so 10 minutes to 8, I took, I took my blood sugar reading again. It was 119. Then I waited until 9.15. It was 104. Okay. So I waited another little bit. I waited to 10.35. And it was 114. So it went up a little bit from the 104. But 11.45, uh, it was at 101. Okay. So you can lower your blood sugar by not eating. Okay, so at 4 o'clock yesterday, it's 12 hours to 4 o'clock this morning, and then it's another 8 hours, so that was 20 hours. And I had a 20 point drop in my blood sugar. Well, I don't know about you, but sometimes that makes a huge difference. And now, one of the things that I forgot to tell the guy when I did the blood sugar is that you should actually not be taking any insulin or met metformin because that will skew the results, I think. The... Uh, and I saw, and so the people that are TD1 and uh, people who are taking uh, metformin, you should actually stop taking it the day before to do the test. And that may seem like a scary to you, and it, was, and it can be. Because what happens typically, uh, at least in my case, is that the the blood, shoot, the blood sugar reading will shoot up quite dramatically. So, but it's, but it's a simple test to do. Uh, like metformin has a half-life of six hours. So if you stop the day before you do the test in the morning, you'll have three, four, six-hour periods. So the metformin will go from 100% uh, to 50% to 25% to 12.5% and then to 6.5. So it's almost all gone if you don't do it the day before. Okay, if you can get a 20, per, 20 point drop in your insulin doing that, you can drop your A1C below 5.7. That's what I did. Without having to take any insulin, without having to take any drugs for blood sugar. And you'll know you'll have the competence continue to become completely cured of it. Thank you. That's all I wanted to say.